Hey, Mr. Sherman here, continuing on. Uh, one of the things I was saying I like about this app is it's a bit of a step up from Germfighter, and you really get to start using lists in it in a really fun way. It really mm -hmm. demonstrates kind of the, the importance and, and the use of them. So <clears throat> we're going to set it up so when our ball hits a brick, it's going to destroy it, and it's going to give us uh, – it's going to add one point to our score. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just focus on one brick for now, and then we're going to make this work for all of them. I, as I always say, focus on getting one thing to work, and then see if you can look into a way to make it, to duplicate that for all the rest of the objects. So um, we already have our ball collided with, and we could go in here and grab this brick collided with, but what's going to end up happening is we're going to need to get brick one, two, three, four, all that stuff. So that's that's annoying. So what we're going to do instead is we're simply going to check what our ball collided with. And I'm going to say, if the thing I collided with, other, other is the thing you collide with, by the way. If the ball collides with something, it has to collide with something. Other is the other thing. So we're going to say, if the thing we collided with, if other was brick one, if you go all the way to the bottom, you can grab this one. Boom. If other was brick one, what we're going to do is we're going to set enabled to false and we're going to set visible to false so that's going to make it invisible that's going to disable it so it's no longer going to be in our game so now you're going to say well that only works for one brick i do i have to do that for all the bricks do i have to go in here and say else if this was Brick two, and, and no, you don't. That see, you could do this for like one or two things, and that's fine. But that becomes a ton to do if you have like, as I say, ninety, a hundred, a thousand. So we're gonna use list, and we're gonna make it a lot smarter. So let's go ahead and make a variable. I'm gonna call this my brick list. And if you grab this block from list, this make a list block, <clears throat> we're just gonna go ahead and put all of our bricks inside this. And we're going to need a third slot. Three. So one, two, three. So all my bricks exist in this brick list. And what we're going to say instead, what we're going to say instead is if other was in my brick list, uh, let's set this up correctly. If the thing I hit is in my brick list, set brick one no longer enabled, no longer visible. But what you're going to say, okay, but we're back to our the, what we just said. If we hit a brick, we're only destroying brick one. We want to destroy the brick we hit. So if you right-click on this, you can say, make these generic. And this is going to say, what image sprite do you want me to disable? Brick one? No, the one that we hit. Same thing here. Not brick one, the one we hit. Now, let's go. now whatever brick you hit will be destroyed. And you can also find these down here in these any component blocks, these generic blocks. A lot of fun. You can do a lot with them. Really handy. So let's do two things. Let's make sure every time we hit a brick, we're adding to our score. <clears throat> ah, shoot. Make sure we're adding to our score. Uh, and as always, updating our label. I'm also going to set up so we can load another level. So we're going to need a variable. Uh, what am I doing? That's not what I meant to do. We're going to need a variable keeping track of bricks in our game. So we're going to call this bricks left. Bricks left. And on start, we're going to set this to, where's my start button? I have it somewhere right here. And on start, we're going to set this to, a lot of people say just three, right? Because we have three bricks. That makes sense. I get what you're saying. But what happens if I have four, five, six, a thousand? Um, no, we're going to actually just say, look at how long our brick list is. Our brick list is three, so set it to three. 
and very similar to what we did down here. If we hit a brick, and I'm going to keep all the things together. Uh, bricks left, bricks left, minus one, and we'll set up game over and uh, game win at the same time. I'll at least set up the skeleton. So then, down here, I'm going to say if bricks left is equal. I'm going to be. Very, I'm going to do it this way just because. I like to set it up this way. If bricks left is less than or equal to zero, you uh, go to the next screen. And you can just simply go to so open another screen. Uh, nope, not that. I meant to grab this. And if lives left is less than or equal to zero, uh, we will go to another screen. Whatever you want to do for lives uh, when you run out of lives. I usually tell my students just... Make the screen red. Play the sound. I don't care. Something just to indicate game over. Something that indicates you you got the function. Um, I'll show us how we can set up another screen here in a minute for this, though. Cool. So what you're going to say, okay, that, that, that destroys the bricks. How do we bring them back now? Well, I'll show you. So we're going to use a for each. And we're going to say, look at our brick list and each thing in there. Just boom, boom, and true, true. So it's for each item, set that item, enable to visible. And I always say, rename things. It makes more sense. For each brick in my brick list, do that. Uh, probably should also, if I can find it, probably should also reset our score. And you know what? I just made no i do have my label there okay i was about to say i just almost made a big mistake um also do that do that um oops not that do that do that and let's real quick let's do another screen so if you go to designer because people always think is going to be really tough it's actually really quick let's do screen two and oh my I have to do everything again not quite you hit control c go to your next screen control v it has everything but you do have to recreate your variables it doesn't recreate your variables for you so you do need to go grab like uh and you probably hear my baby in the other room i gotta go get but you gotta go recreate your variables all that good stuff but it does do most of it for you. Um, so that should be, I might have missed something here or there, but that should be a lot of it. So as I always say, I hope, that's, uh, I hope that helps. I hope that makes sense. I hope that uh, it's all good. Thanks for watching.